Hey guys, welcome back to my channel once again, Kenroy here. Now in today's video, I'm just going to be giving you a quick review of the IKEA Sagaro parasol which I bought a few months ago. Now if you can remember, I was on the hunt to find a parasol in order to provide some shade for my family and I during the summer months. Now I know this summer might not have been as spectacular as we all would have hoped for, however it was still nice to be able to go out in the garden and have a meal with the family while sitting under this parasol. Now a few people have actually messaged asking whether or not this parasol was worth it. Now I'll finally manage to be able to have a little review on this parasol to see whether or not it's worth the money. Now I had to store this in my garage because the box as you can see is absolutely huge. Now while it wasn't very heavy I do recommend that you get at least two persons to actually carry it because you know the last thing you want to do is do your back in. So in other words don't do what I was doing. Now I managed to get Sophia to give me a hand and she actually helped me to carry some of the components. Now the parasol actually comes in one massive box which you can see here and the first thing I decided to do was to actually take out most of the parts that were needed, uh, remove all of the plastic covering from each one of them. Now this allowed me to be able to figure out what to do next. All I can say that it was pretty straightforward and the assembly manual was pretty straightforward. Now once I connected the legs to the base where the parasol would slide onto, which is this upright bit. I then proceeded to figure out how to attach the base, uh, which are these huge plastic containers, which you can use to hold either water or sand. And all this does, it allows you to anchor the parasol to the floor to prevent it from moving about. Now one of the reasons why I went with this base is because it gives me a really handy feature of allowing me to be able to twist or swivel the parasol without actually moving it around just by removing this little pin. Now by removing this pin you can then turn the entire parasol uh, depending on where the sun is coming from which I thought was really really crucial and that has actually saved me from moving the parasol as the sun moves throughout the day. Now I opted to use water in the base of the parasol even though I could have used sand as I do have some um, in the shed somewhere. Of course all work and no play makes you a dull boy so I decided to have a little water fight with my wife and the kids. Once that was done I managed to get the containers filled with water and to be honest I think that is more than adequate um, in terms of weight for the parasol. Once the base of the parasol was filled with water and I was sure that it was going nowhere I simply used the plastic lids which actually came with the containers which interlocked with one another in order to create a more stronger seal. 
Now that the base was done guys, all that was left was for me to figure out how to slide the parasol onto the base. Now as you can see here, I did start by putting it on the wrong way, but the good news is that you can actually turn it and it will slot in place as it only fits uh, in one direction. Now I was quite surprised however with the small screw that was used to actually connect the base with the parasol. Um, but suffice to say I've had no problems with it so far. It's held up well and even though it's a small screw it definitely does the job. Now the final thing to attach will be the handle for the crank. Um, as you can see here, once again this is pretty straightforward, it uses a small allen key just to connect a little screw and then presto, all done and dusted. Now it does take some getting used to in figuring out how to actually slide the parasol up and as well as opening it and from my experience I think that you have to make sure that you have enough space because this thing is absolutely massive. Measuring in an incredible three meters, you know, as you start to open it up, you have to make sure you have enough space for it to open uh, before sliding it to its maximum height. Now, like I said to you before, one of my main reasons for buying this is the fact that just by removing this small pin in the base, it allows me to swivel the parasol in any direction. It's an absolute game changer and I do think that this feature definitely make the parasol worth every penny. Now I do recommend that you get a cover for your parasol especially as you go into the winter months um, and it also helps with keeping the bugs and the insects away from the parasol when it's not in use. I must stress this tip however guys, whenever you're not using the parasol I highly recommend that you close it down because as you can imagine it's a massive umbrella and the last thing you want to do is leave it up overnight or unattended uh, a strong wind comes and break it to pieces after spending so much money to buy this I left mine up overnight once and it got so windy that I had to come out of the house at night in order to close it down so if you want it to last long I definitely recommend that you look after it by keeping it closed whenever it's not in use Now even though the summer wasn't great this year, we were still able to use this loads and we absolutely love it. Now as you can see here, we were having a little afternoon picnic lunch with some friends that came to visit. Now like I said before, I've been using this for over three months now and I've been really really pleased with how it's held up. The overall build quality is excellent and the functionality that it adds to the garden is second to none. Now I did originally look into other parasols which were a similar price and a similar size but they didn't offer nearly as much features which this parasol clearly does. The build quality also shines compared to some of its rivals so I highly recommend it. So if you do get the opportunity to buy one either now or for next season I definitely recommend that you pick one up as they tend to go out of stock as soon as the summer months come along.
Now I really hope that this review has been beneficial to you. And if you do like the content guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel. We really do appreciate all of your support. As always, this is Kenroy saying, I'll see you when you see me. Take care.